Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Cancer? We'll get into that. Take those. What do we have for cancer? September. So September is a very prominent month. This may go back to something that happened in September. Could be coming to the surface now. Or something is going to happen in the upcoming September. Or something happened in a previous September years ago. You could also be dealing with somebody born in the month of December. Okay? Did I say December? I did. I meant to say September, but December came out of my mouth, so that's prominent as well. Ink pot. Problems to be resolved. So there's something that needs to be resolved this week. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. So... I feel like, I mean, this could go so many different ways, but I feel like it has to do with last September. But it could be all the all of the above, okay? Like I said, it could be somebody, you could be dealing with somebody that's born in September or December. Um, Whatever is happening, there's a problem that does need to be dissolved. Uh, resolved. <laughs> I said dissolved. Words that come out, come out for a reason. Um, this could be a man or a woman. Okay, so it says younger man. You could be dealing with a man or a woman. Um, what do we have for cancer? You're going to be dealing with a problem. Uh, this is a, somebody that is probably younger than you, perhaps, or there's an age difference. You could be the younger person here. What do we have for cancer? Seven of Swords. Five of Swords reversed. Emperor reversed. We may have this we may have something to do with a father. We may have a father here that has abused their power. That's abusive energy that is a tyrant that is controlling. Uh, this person appears to and it's interesting because we have the five swords here and five swords here. So we have a hostile situation. Okay, there's been some hostilities. Um, there's some somebody that is, uh, it feels like they're doing something against the law or they're doing something very shady. We have sneaky behavior here. This is somebody corrupt. This is a corrupt leader. This is uh, somebody that doesn't take responsibility for their actions. Could be a cheater, a thief, a liar. This is this person. Um, breaks the law. We have a lawbreaker here, and they really don't care who they hurt. We've been talking about this a lot. We definitely have somebody here that doesn't care who they hurt. They are. This is a tyrant or a narcissist or something like that. This is somebody that really isn't interested in helping, only looks out for number one, is very entitled, power hungry. The Five of Swords reverse could go a couple different ways. Let me get a card to go with that. What is this Five of Swords reversed? It is some sort of conflict. I feel like there's some sort of crime that is being exposed. Page of Cups reversed, okay. So this is a bubble that is being burst. This is uh, unrequited love. This isn't love. It may, like, it may have something to do with a father and a child. doesn't have to be. But there's a sadness here. This is shattered dreams, ob obsession, childhood issues. We have some sort of insincerity here. This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable, literally emotionally unavailable, that is hurting another person. There could be cheating, lying, stealing, whatever, slander. There's definitely some deception.
dealing with somebody who doesn't care. This person does not care at all. They don't care at all. Okay, it's a masculine energy. Somebody may have deserted you in your time of need or they deserted a child or they don't have the experience. They're just not very experienced. They're on the wrong side of the law. This is somebody that is power hungry, that is doing something and they're doing whatever they're doing. It, it, they are breaking the law, whether it's the universe's law or not. This is acting without a conscience. Knight of Coins, Seven of Coins reversed, Page of Swords. So this is this is unrealistic, dissatisfied. A message is coming. This is something that you don't want to hear. It is a message that you don't want to hear. I don't think that it's good news. You may have to be realistic. You may have to be practical. I believe that um, you may have to move to, a, to more stable ground. You may have to get grounded. You may have to, uh, you have to be realistic. It feels like we have somebody here that hasn't been practical, hasn't been realistic, and they need to get grounded. They need to stabilize. Somebody may be after another person's money, you know, stealing somebody's money. It's all about money here. It looks like it is all about money. On the bottom of the cup deck, we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, Ten of Cups reversed is a dying dream. It's children leaving home. It's a broken relationship, relationship problems. We have some relationships problems here because we have a masculine energy that is power hungry. And all they care about is their money. This person, all they care about is money and that's it. They're not going to invest in a love relationship. They're not going to invest in a partnership. This person is very cold hearted. They don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. So you're dealing with somebody that, I don't know if this person has stolen your heart or if they've stolen your money or they've stolen something from you. You know, and this could, if, you know, this, if you're the cross watcher, this could be the person that you're dealing with. Okay. It could, it could be, um, we definitely have somebody here that is acting without a conscience. They are looking out for number one and number one only. Okay. This person is not interested in a relationship. They may be in one for codependency reasons. Maybe they're cheating. Um, there is definitely some sort of deception. I feel as though there is a message that is coming, but it is not something that you want to hear. Okay, I do think that there is going to be a conflict. There could be some tears that are shed as some sort of crime as expo is exposed. I feel like there's been lies. Somebody's been lying. They've been getting away with it, but I don't think they can get away with it anymore. I think we have like a spy or or on somebody that is undercover. You know, we may have somebody that is undercover that is doing some sort of investigation. This is it could be an investigator or whatever. I think that things are going to come to an end with this person, this person's corruption. Okay? It can only go on for so long. There could this is like um a battle that is coming to an end. There has been some sort of battle. There has been a hostile situation. It is coming to an end. Soon enough, you will feel relief. You will feel relief and things are going to stabilize. But first we have some sort of conflict where somebody needs to get caught first. And they're going to get caught whether they're cheating, lying, stealing, thieving, whatever. This person um, doesn't think that they're going to get caught. They have a plan. They've, they're, they're very, very sneaky, very... Um, They've done this before and they've gotten away with it before. So you could say that they are experienced with deception. Okay. They know how to do it. So this is somebody that is very skilled at deceiving. Uh, they may have, uh, you know, they may say the, the, the right things with the page of cups reverse, but they have no follow through. You know, they may pretend that they love or speak of love, but it's, it's not real. Okay, so I feel like you're about to get some, or somebody in this reading is about to get a reality check. Um, 
and they're going to stop investing in something that has hurt them really, really badly. And I think, th and the thing is, I think the reason they're going to stop is because this person's going to get caught. They're going to get caught doing something. Now, the Five of Swords reversed is is uh, walking away. You know, admitting defeat. Somebody may be admitting their defeat and walking away from this deceptive, cheating individual. You know, taking another opportunity. You know, I'm not going to invest in this, even though it's hard to do. It's setting boundaries. So you may be setting boundaries this week or somebody that you're dealing with is setting boundaries. There is some sort of relationship problems that are being dealt with this week. Um... I do see that I think there's going to be some agitation as well. There could be a fight that brings some tears. Somebody could end up crying. Two of Cups. This is headed towards a partnership. This is. So, you you know, this is about being practical, being realistic. Some of you are headed towards a stable partnership after you stop investing in something. This is you stop investing, you don't give it your time, you don't give it your energy, uh, you be logical, even though it's not easy, you stop wearing your heart on your sleeve, you know, and you walk away from this malicious individual that has abused you in some way or lied to you or done something behind your back. Somebody has done something behind your back. Or this could be for the cross watcher. We do have somebody that is getting an opportunity for a partnership that could be long term. There is a new offer here. There is a new offer. But you will have to turn your back on this narcissist, whoever the narcissist is. There is a narcissist here. There is. Somebody may be giving it to somebody else, another partner as well. They may be giving themselves to another partner and that's why they're not really investing. I do believe there's some sort of uh, well, spying going on. Somebody is spying, you know. watching somebody behind their back it's like there's an outsider here seven of cups yeah there's options somebody's exploring their options right now they're watching somebody else or they're communicating with somebody else they may be thinking about relocating, thinking about leaving with that seven of coins reversed. But they may have to swallow their pride and admit defeat. Anyhow, I do believe that we have somebody here that wants to get out of a situation but it may cost them some money to do so. They may have to give somebody money to leave, you know, so that they can have the partnership that they want. This is exploring options. We have somebody here that is exploring their options right now. They are. There is a better option here, absolutely. For unity, for equality, for... Uh, you know, a loving partnership where you see eye to eye with somebody. But you have to be practical. You have to be realistic. You have to master your emotions and not let yourself be abused. So anyway, I do believe that this week, you know... Uh, you need Maybe you need to beat the enemy at their own game. Or maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that's what's happening. Somebody who's trying to beat their en the enemy at their own game. And it doesn't look like that's the way to go, honestly.
I also feel like we have some undercover work here, and I don't know if I already said that or not. Somebody is doing something undercover. There could be an undercover investigation. I think there's going to be some sad news or some bad news that is delivered to this tyrant who has been abusing their power. This is somebody that it's either a father or a husband or somebody that is a very masculine that has abused their power. This person is going to be receiving some sort of message that they don't want to hear. Perhaps whoever they're dealing with you know, is leaving and headed towards a stable partnership. And when I say a partnership, partnership could be with a friend, could be a family member, could be a lover, whatever. This is exploring options. Choosing another option. That somebody is, is going to be um, relocating or something like that or going someplace else because where they've been, there's no growth. There's no growth. It's dead. It's a dead end. So somebody could also be getting in trouble because a six of swords reversed is trouble. And I don't know if it has to do with the law. I do think that the law could get involved. Absolutely. The law may be getting involved with somebody's behavior. I do think that there is bad behavior here. This is like a nasty, hostile situation that has unfolded. We may have somebody that involves the law. You know, this person makes a phone call or, you know, gives them some sort of information. It's like an informant of some sort. This informant uh, changes everything. This is a card of consequences. So somebody may be facing some consequences of their choices. But there's also another option here with the Two of Cups. There's an opportunity for a loving partnership where there's mutual respect and equality with somebody that you are better suited for, you know, that you have something in common with. And maybe that happens once you go down that path to stability. But you do have, definitely have to find your uh, backbone to turn your back on this narcissist, whoever the narcissist is. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard work. So anyway, I do believe that you guys are um, going to be investing in a new option. Whoever this narcissist is, I feel like this narcissist is getting caught. They're getting caught whatever they, with, with their abuse, whatever they've done. And maybe that breaks you free. That may, be, that may break you free from this hold or whatever it is. Gives you the opportunity to invest in a new option. This Six of Swords reverse is very troublesome. It is. It's, a tr it's, it's staying put in a troublesome situation. This is trouble. Needing to move on. Needing to take the high road. Somebody needs to leave a situation. But they're so troubled they're mi in their mind, in their thoughts. They can't master their emotions. We got somebody here that is very, very troubled and they need to go someplace. Maybe they need to go get help. This is also being stopped. Something I do believe that something is coming to a stop. I do. This is a reality check of some sort. There is an individual here who has abused their power. They may have deserted somebody in their time of need. This person is power hungry. They don't care who they hurt. They walk on people. They lie to people. They sneaky, sneaky, sneaky behavior. This, this um, individual is probably 
uh, losing an opportunity because it's going to be given to somebody else. It is going to be given to somebody else. The devil reversed. That is breaking free. It is it is taking back control from this narcissist. This narcissist is losing their power. They are losing their control. They're going down. This narcissist is going down. They are about to be getting a reality check. Things are going to get worse for this person. Whoever this narcissist is, things are going to get worse. And they're going to get, this is like a very deep, dark place. This, it feels like this person could lose it all. So somebody is breaking free from some sort of hold. Ties are being severed. There's a better option here. So anyway, I feel like this week you may receive some news that doesn't make you happy or something like that. But it leads you towards something better suited for you. Some of you are going to be getting an offer that could last, something you can take to the bank and helps you to break free from this hold. There's a severing of ties here. There is. This is severing of ties. This is severing of ties as well. Somebody has been getting away with hurting another person and they, they aren't going to get away with it anymore. I feel like there's consequences as well. I feel like there's consequences. King of Pentacles, Reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a loss. Somebody is losing something. They are losing something big and it's because money is more important than anything else it's it is this is somebody that is corrupt we have somebody here that is very corrupt we have capricorn i mean we have this could be a capricorn this could be a capricorn this could be a capricorn this could be dealing with a capricorn or you could have capricorn in your chart we also have taurus virgo we have uh, aries Tor uh, pisces cancer scorpio libra gemini aquarius whatever is happening there is a decision that is being made based on some sort of facts, based on some sort of truth that is coming out. This is not practical. It's not realistic. We gotta, we gotta be real. We gotta keep it safe. Take choosing the safest option. So anyway, I, I think that um, there is a severing of ties with with a narcissist this week. Somebody is leaving. And they have been refusing to take a new approach. But now this this is like, and I don't even have the Ten of Swords. This is it. This is like, you know, this is so painful. I've got to go. This is it. So anyway, there could be a relocation on the horizon. Good luck.